All right, so still frozen in the background with my daughter. Um, last time I kind of introduced powers of prop the properties of powers. Sorry. And now we're going to work out two fun little examples to kind of show stuff. I'm going to show you how to simplify these things really fairly simply. That seems redundant. All right, so first I have this guy, 2a cubed times b to the negative second, all in parentheses, times negative 4a squared b to the fourth. Don't let the ugliness fool you. So I have these guys being protected by the force fields that are parentheses. In between them is multiplication. So you have multiplication outside the parentheses. I'm going to look inside the parentheses and look for the weakest thing. In here, it's all multiplication. It's number, power, power, multiplication. Multiplication is the weakest, the lowest level thing inside that parentheses. And in here, the weakest operation is multiplication. So if I have multiplication outside, multiplication inside, parentheses aren't doing anything. So I can just ignore the parentheses and just note that they are only giving me multiplication. They're telling me to multiply. So I have 2a cubed b to the negative second times negative 4a squared times b to the fourth. Now, really cool stuff here. Multiplication is awesome because it doesn't care what order you do stuff. You can move things around, 2 times 3, same thing as 3 times 2. 2 times 3 times 4, you know, I can look at that 2 times 3 times 4. That's the same thing as 2 times 3 times 4, those first. And I can even mix and match and have 2 times 4 times 3. No matter what, I'm going to get 24, right? So I can rearrange this however I want. Well, I'm going to go numbers in front and then alphabetical because that's the kind of guy I am. So I'm going to take 2 times, taking care of the 2, negative 4 is a number, times negative 4, times a cubed times a squared. That's all my numbers, all my a's, times b to the negative second, times b to the fourth. And now I have it in numerical alphabetical order, the way all organized left brain people enjoy and now I just work it one at a time. 2 times negative 4, that's just negative 8, right? a to the third times a to the second. Same bases being multiplied. Multiply bases, I can add the powers. That becomes a 2 plus 3 is 5. Note I can't do anything with these powers because they are different bases. They're being multiplied, so I can only add if they are like terms. Here, b times b, if I'm multiplying the base, I can just add the powers. Negative 2 plus 4, that's just 2. And now there's nothing else I can do because if I try to combine these, I end up having to add powers and they are not like terms. So I have now simplified that ugly problem. All of that became all of this. Problem number 2. Let's see what we have here. Parentheses are protecting a power from multiplication and division, right? Multiplication, division, multiplication. So I have a power, multiplication, division. Ooh, I can distribute straight down. So everybody gets a 3. You get a 3, you get a 3, you get a 3, you get a 3. So 2 becomes cubed. A squared becomes cubed. Here's my division. 3 becomes cubed, and b becomes cubed. Let's just carry this. 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2. That's three twos, right? 2 times 2 is 4, and another 2 makes 8. Right? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. a squared to the third, power to a power, power to a power, means I multiply those powers. 2 times 3 is 6. So that's a to the 6. There's my division sign. 3 to the 3rd. 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Times another 3 is 27. And b to the 3rd. Do I have any more like bases? No. Once I'm pretty much done with all my like bases, I'm usually pretty much done. And that's it for those.